This is our first attempt at uh, printing a boat. I don't know how it's going to go. We're going to take it out today. We did it, made it pretty unique with the colours, that's for sure. Even got some rainbow action going up here. I don't know what, some people don't like that sort of thing. Okay, so we've got a 40, TP4090 in there, 1650 kV, 175 amp speed controller, 316 drive line. Um, got as much colour as I can on here. Got the, the black drut with a red prop and a red rudder, just to make it look as crazy as I could. Some yellow action here, more red. So this is actually a copy uh, of the hull design of an MHZ uh, Mystic 5000. Now those things are 44, 45 inches long, I believe. This is 38 inches long. You can you can change the scale and make it as long as you want, short as you want. We did another one here that's only 18 inches long. We'll get around to doing that one. So I call this the plastic 5000. Um, it has the same the same uh, unique part under there, whereas you like your zondas and that are just this part here is just straight across. This is like totally different. Um, with the printing, I noticed one thing I do like about the printed hull is it's very sharp here in your fiberglass and carbon fiber boats. They're not sharp like that. They never ever are. So that's uh, that's a good thing. The rest of it, like, you know, is it value for money? I don't know. If you, I guess if you had the time, it took us like a week to print it out. Um, and, you know, plenty of this. We had to do two different lids, each one taking uh, a day to print. Because the first one, when we joined it, just didn't work out. I don't know. So it's cost quite a bit to, to do, I suppose, when you think of all the roles of PLA and, you know, running a <coughs> printer constantly for a week. Uh, when a, a, the original one, or the MHZ one on their website, is not too badly priced. It's um, 310 euros. I guess that's about $600 Australian. I couldn't tell from the shipping. I, I couldn't get the... Would have had to put all my details in for shipping, so I didn't want to go and do all that. But I imagine it's going to be another couple of hundred euros to ship it here. So they're not that dear, really. Um, this is cheaper, yeah, but, you know, we're not talking the same thing. Not the same boat. Um, anyway, so I've got two 6S packs in there. One is for ballast <coughs> because we we used, we put infill in the front here. So it's actually, you know, full of... Um, it, this is sealed off this is like a bulkhead here and there's thousands of holes in there so we did that wrong that should have been all open but you know we're learning so it's kind of heavy there so I had to pull the weight back here so I put two big 6s packs here and I'll just run one at a time and we'll take it out now see what happens hopefully it doesn't just fall apart in the water I don't know we put plenty of fiberglass in there up in here up in here up back here strengthen the transom with you know about that thick of you know fiberglass resin and mat so i i think it's going to be strong enough uh, we did all the joins extra good so we'll see what happens i mean you know it's just a i might we might use it once and just pull it all apart and throw it in the bin i don't know oh and with the lid on the inside we weren't quite sure what to do we we're thinking of like shaving like not putting this strength here and just putting a layer or two of fiberglass um, all in, in here but instead we left left it as per the design in the file and just brock cut out you know heaps of these triangles of fiberglass matting and um, you know fiberglass all that in there and it does seem quite strong now so it seems like one good piece it's actually three pieces because when I went to pull this half of it you print it in two halves. When I went to pull this off the printer, um, I just grabbed the top of it and pulled it, and I, I broke it there. It just broke, so I don't touch the printer anymore. Brock just does all that. So, uh, yeah, we actually should put some flotation on here, though. We'll do that before we duck out. Did we check the rescue boat to make sure it works? Uh, I did check it yesterday. Okay. And it worked perfectly fine then. So far, so good. Bit. 
father's getting mad. Yeah. Freeze in the way. Once it's way up to speed, it seems okay. Yeah. It does work. <laughs> if you want to spend three weeks at home yourself, you can build one too. <laughs> Is that full throttle you want to see? Where's it got it back? <laughs> <laughs> and the front didn't fall off. Like you were worried about. I thought there was a small chance we may never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, might be best to just put it down. Yeah. Did use about 10 kilos of tape, taping the lid on. It's a super sticky one too. Yeah, it's not easy to use. Super sticky is kind of an understatement for this stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everything's cold? Yeah. Yeah, everything's cold. Actually, yeah, I didn't even pull the timing down on those in there. Those oh, are really? set at 15 degrees. And they should be really heard at half all. that. It'll run cold, cooler. Cooler if it had less, yeah. It had less, but that's okay. Well, not even much water in there, right? All right, Brock, chuck her in. All right, Brock's gonna dry this on the second battery that was in there now. This battery's a little bit sus. When I was charging it, one of the cells was totally different to the other five, so I think this might be the last time we use this battery. We might as well thrash it out. I saw that, yeah. Let's see what you built, Brock. We're gonna have rid of these trees. <laughs> Shit, you better bring her in then. If you can. Oh, we've had trouble with that there before. Yeah, just stick around here then. Yeah, but it hooks on itself a little bit. Just bring it. Something that was just a plastic roll. 
It's had the sound of its life. Yeah. <laughs> it actually works. Yeah.